Unbelievable, I can't believe how effective that is. Just a standard vacuum cleaner and we can just... Okay, so down in the workshop, very briefly today, we have some tweezers there, getting very close on that project. Secondly, the thing I want to show you, this thing here. Now it kind of looks like some sort of weird freaky periscope thing, but it is in fact, let me show you, I kind of half came up with the idea, but my dad kind of half came up with the idea as well, but he, he did it, he did the sort of actual making of it. And what it's for is, you know in this machine here, we have the media. Now when we want to switch out, you know, take out this ceramic type media, it's a real pain. We used to, we used to shake it out and it took ages. And then we discovered that we could empty it from here, but that's still a bit of a pain. So what we thought is we could use something like this. And the idea is that we go like, suck, 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 suck it up like a giant vacuum cleaner. Basically, we attach my high quality, but somewhat underused vacuum cleaner onto here, and then we attach the other hose onto here. So the air goes in here, down through there, and then out there, but all the bits and pieces get dropped off in. It's easier if I show you. So my dad's away getting a part for it, I think, just now, and then we'll get it set up, up and running. But my dad assures me it's pretty fast. We can fill one of those buckets or empty one of those buckets in about a minute and a half, which means we should be able to do that machine in about five minutes, which is awesome. Right, so my dad just made a slight alteration to it so that there's a more sort of direct line into, into the tub down here because you know like you want you want as straight a line as possible for sort of flow i think that's that's my guess so we got this here which should hopefully do the the sucking down the black pipe down into here now the plan is that that ceramic media or whatever media we have in drops off down here and we're going to connect the vacuum cleaner to this very crude looking but highly functional um bit of pipe It's working. Okay, I didn't actually know that much about this after all. We got to have the machine on. I just thought we just left it anyway. I can't believe how effective that is. Just a standard vacuum cleaner. Quite surprised. I mean, this is not like the proper thing. We're gonna get it done properly. This is just a sort of proof of concept, really. That was the quickest empty we've ever done on the machine. And we've not even made the proper one and optimized and whatnot. So that is that is very, very something. Whatever it is, it's, it's very, very. We've put the new media in. We're doing some more tweezers in that today. So we're gonna set that running and then we're going to the cinema since I got my son for the weekend. Looking forward to that. <laughs> So excited to be going to the cinema. Actually, since I started putting in loads and loads of effort, or 
more effort into these YouTube videos. I'm only just starting to appreciate what it takes to make a film. It's just, it blows my mind. Pete's Dragon, that's the film we're watching. My criteria for films is I look on the website Rotten Tomatoes and I make sure it's got at least like 80, 85, 90% um, like on the tomato meter I think they call it. As long as, it's, as long as it's got a decent rating, I'll watch it. Less than that, I'm not watching it. This one had 87% I believe, so that's, that's good enough for me. Obviously I can't record it in here, so I will see you in a little while. That film was pretty awesome. Right, lunchtime.